So in this video, we are going to look at how to validate the emails. Like uh, if you are creating a web form wherein you wanted to capture only the unique emails, like if you are trying to enter the email, which is already exists in your database, you don't want your users to enter the same email address again. Like you are uh, creating an email address, like you are getting a Gmail account and in that Gmail account, you cannot use the same uh, email ID, which is already used. So such type of validation, how you do this. So, okay. So this is my application. What I'm going to put here is create a page email validation email validate email valid. Right. What I am going to do, I am going to put a email component here. Okay. And then let's say enter email address. If I go to this live mod here, you will see if I try to put a, so this has the inbuilt validation that email component has an inbuilt validation. It will not allow me to enter, which is something uh, invalid. It should be in the proper format. If I put a at gmail.com, that's fine. If you put yahoo.com it's fine till the time you put a uh, valid email id it will allow me to enter but as soon as you try to put something like this it will not allow me so how this is happening if you go to this design mode if you go to this all that is all happening via this validator here we have the regex we have this pattern which is actually enforcing us to enter the valid email Okay, and hint enter email address value must be in this particular form. Okay, so you have this validator here because of this, you are allowed to enter the correct means the email ID which in the correct format. So let me just try to use a JavaScript function to validate it. Then go to this JavaScript and then what I'm going to do, I have created one this email validator. Okay, and here, of course, I need to uh, put some means this async regex validator. I need to load some classes. Let me okay. So what I need to do, I need to define this here the async validator regex, and then you can use it here. Okay, then I will call this function on this validator component. Okay. And then use this function email validator. Okay, you need to surround it with this and only is going to work. Yes. And here, if you again switch back to the line mode, you can say ABC. Okay, this is enforcing me to put a valid. Okay. Now, now, if you see, I have this business object called employee, okay, wherein I have an email address field, okay, I don't want user to enter the same email address again. So what I can do here, so since I already have, let me just delete some repeated one. That's fine. Okay. Now, since you know, uh, we have the endpoints as well, like the uh, employee one okay so what i'm going to do i am going to leverage the javascript here and then what i am going to use i am going to take a help of my of my this rest helper which will help me to uh, to well to call the rest api okay asynchronously so i am going to write a javascript function here okay like this existing email validator is the function and here you see i am going to use the promise and then resolve this unique email address and here is the catch okay here i am calling my 
business object REST API, which is get all employee. Here I am going to pass parameter, which is like an email address. This should be a valid field. This one. Or this one. Okay. And then I am just passing this value, whatever I will enter, and we'll see if it is returning uh, returning something, then I will say email already exists, otherwise it will allow me. So again, what I can do, I can call this function, I can call multiple function here again. So what I need to do, I need to put a comma here and then uh, copy the same thing here, but I will replace the function name, okay? The function name is this one. Okay, now let's go to this live model. Let me try to enter some value which I already have. Okay, and here you see enter a unique email address. Okay. Okay, if I go here, it should give me some kind of error. It is not giving me. Let me see. Function start. Maybe something wrong. Okay, existing email validator. Let me just try to hit it again. Not this one, go back here. Okay, let's say if it is enter unique email address, no more, let me see. So let's run this page and then we'll see. Okay, let me just type the email. Tab. And here you see email already exists. Let me just put something different. Now here you see. Let me just try to put one more email which already exists. We'll see which is like this one. There we go. And if you put this one, there we go. So this is how you can put a validator, but you have to load this REST helper here, which is going to give this functionality to call the business object API via the JavaScript. So that's all about this. Thank you. Bye-bye.